Continuing with the Alpine GS tutorial, in this one we'll be taking a look at how we can open up and close up a model and how we can focus on a specific element. So here we have a page and it says open model. When you click on this one, you'll see this model title appearing and then on clicking this close model, the dialog closes. So the functionality is pretty much the same which we have explored in previous lectures. All we are doing is creating a state. So here you'll notice X data open is set to initially false and uh, X show is used to show it when the open is set to true. And on click of this button that we have at click, we are setting open is equal to true. And uh, on this button that we have over here called close, we are setting click event and setting open is equal to false so that's why when we run this click on this open model the open state is set to true and then on clicking close model the open state is set to false and that's the reason why it gets closed now one more thing that we would like to do over here is accessing a given element and to do that we will be making use of xref in alpine js so we say xref and then just like how we give id to an element in HTML over here, what we'll be doing is we'll be giving a name. So we'll say median model close. And then this ref that we have can be used as soon as the model gets opened up. So for that, we have next tick function, which basically returns a callback. So here, we'll, what we'll be doing is we'll be using the refs using dollar refs dot and then the name of the ref that we provided which was btn model close and here all we are saying is focus on that and we have to ensure that everything is inside this click even that we have so open equals true and then next tick will be accessing this refs dot btn model close dot focus and that will be closing over here so the click event consists of these two things now and uh, now when we run this in browser here when we click on open model, the button as you can see has already focus. So if I press enter now, the model should close automatically. And there you go. So that's how easy it is to work with models with AlpineJS.